let's go ahead and get into planning in the Target Dollar Spot Planner. This is probably my favorite planner in terms of the aesthetic and the way that it looks because I can add all of these cute little charms and it can actually fit in my purse. So it is heavy, but I don't care. I love it and I love putting it in my purse. So I do take it everywhere I go. However, my favorite to actually um, like plan in is my happy planner just because you get the little boxes and it's super fun to decorate and I always save my best spreads for my happy planner and I get this question a lot and why do I have a lot of planners um I happen to like it so you can have as many planners as you would like and yes I do pretty much use them all and another thing that you actually don't know that you've never seen is my main main planner my ride or die is actually OneNote and if you don't know what OneNote is it's a Microsoft Office program. So it's like Excel and Word and things like that, but it is like this place. It's a journal and you can add multiple pages and you can add images and check boxes and all kinds of fun things. So I have been using OneNote for years upon years. So if anyone actually wants to see a video on that, just comment down below. Let me know or give this video a thumbs up. But the point is I use a ton of different planners. I know that's crazy because it's like, okay, well, you're always checking all these planners. Yeah. And guess what? I like it. A popular demand, everyone seems to really enjoy um, not having music and kind of having me talk some of it and listening to the cutting tools. That does not make you crazy at all, by the way. It's very soothing sounds and I completely understand. However, my voice is a little froggy today, but I always feel like my voice is froggy. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So this is my planner dashboard. I recently just made this, so if you wanna go check it out, I will link it down in the description box below for you. This is also a little pencil pouch that I have Velcroed, yes. And this was like a free gift with purchase at Ulta. So this is also in a tutorial and I will link that down below for you. And let's check out my recent spread. So it was none other than this gorgeous Rainbow Bright theme love this by the reaction and comments you guys really seem to love this too so thank you so much for enjoying my spread so much it means a lot to me and okay so now we're going to be decorating this upcoming week so i guess we're already in the week because it's this monday right here and my inspiration is going to be none other than chanel number no. five and i was inspired by this recent paper clip that i just did on my planner i uploaded that video today so if you want to go check it out i will link it down below it was really easy to do, but I was really inspired by this, so I wanted to make a really chic Chanel number no. five number. Okay, so let me take this out. And of course, as usual, I am going to cover up this strip with some printer paper. Someone did suggest, um, what was it? Some sort of correction tape. Um, that's a genius idea. I don't actually have any on hand. So in the meantime, I'm just going to continue to use my printer paper. It's really not that difficult for me to do. Um, but I do need to get rid of this plum color because most of my washi is transparent. And I don't actually know what washi I'm going to use just yet. So I might as well just go ahead and cover up the purple and start with a, you know, clean canvas. I am going to pick my washi. These are my favorite. So random talk while I try to figure this washi out. I had a dream last night, let me tell you. 
I'm pretty positive it was Prince William, um, but like he sorta kinda also reminded me of my ex, which, you know, isn't a bad thing. Just because someone's an ex doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Um, but it was delish. It was delicious. I mean, he could not have been a more gorgeous specimen in my dream, let me tell you. What I love about planning, um, and I've talked about this before, is you don't have to be busy. You don't have to be a busy person or somebody with a lot going on to have a planner. And the beauty of it is that, you know, as you start planning, it could lead to like dreams, you know? Whether you start maybe documenting that you wanna save for a trip or, you know, you want to go, you know, out in your local town and do stuff, maybe go to like the little like markets that they have. I mean, that's the beauty of planning is it starts to get your wheels turning. Um, so if you haven't started a planner because you feel like you have to be this busy person to have one, that is not the case. There are no rules at all. There are rules, the rules you want for yourself. Now that I have my washi done, I'm gonna go ahead and fill some of this in. Also, just a quick note, it's okay if you start off your planner and you don't have everything to write out for that week. You know, if you take it day by day, then do that. Do what works for you. Um, I know a lot of the time some of this gets moved around or canceled. Um, sometimes I add more stuff in there that's actually happened that I didn't foresee. So don't feel like you have to have like the whole week planned out. But because I have a kid, you know, my schedule seems to really like be consistent a lot of the time. So, but that's, you know, learning throughout our schedule and figuring out, you know, how things actually goes, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I finished that and I'm going to go ahead and put this into the planner. Okay, I'm going to remove this so that we can work on a flatter surface. Okay, so I've already made a cute little dashboard that's gonna go in here, and it looks like this. How gorgeous is that, right? So it's basically scrapbook paper, another piece of pink polka dot scrapbook paper, and then I went on Pinterest and um, search for Chanel number no. five perfume and this was my favorite image so I just copied it from Pinterest and pasted it into my Word document and I printed it out and then I just kind of cut around it and I didn't even glue it down because the laminator you know keeps it together but I did use some double-sided sticky tape and I put that on the pink and then put the pink on the black and then I laminated it so this is gonna be like a cute little mini dashboard for this specific week but if you want to see like you know some examples then I would go watch this dashboard video
Now I am going to use this as my little guide to punching the holes. How gorgeous is that? I absolutely love that. I could also add some more little dashboard cards that I've made in another previous video. This one's really cute. This one has the gold in it, which would be really cute, but the number, the little playing card doesn't really make any sense. This one is just so cute. You could just stack these if you wanted to. I think I want to add a little something else to this, and I have this um, stamp set. It's very bistro French, and I thought that it would be kind of perfect for this. And I think I want to do this ooh la la. I thought that would be really pretty. Let's over here. Okay, now let's go ahead and add our paper clip. Where is my paper clip? How cute is that? And if you really love paper clips, you could just probably keep adding to this. But you could add some cute perfume bottles. So really cute. You could even come down here and put one down here. I really do love the little perfumes all stacked up here together. It kind of looks like, you know, your little perfume table where you have all of them together. So that is really cute. So I'm going to leave it like that. And now I'm just going to simply put back my uh, pouch here. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's spread, a just gorgeous Chanel number no. 5 number. I mean, I absolutely love this. It's pretty simple, but... You know, hey, it's gorgeous. So I hope that you love it, and thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys really soon. I don't think that I'm going to be putting out a happy planner spread today. Um, I may not even put one out this week. I'm going to decorate it, but I don't know that I'm actually going to film it. Um, so you may just end up seeing that spread a little later on, but I'm still figuring it all out. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!